Hello and welcome back to OC Avery. Today in this video I'm going to be back with another breeding guide on European Chaffinches. Um, this will be the final video um, or episode you may call it for the breeding guides of 2020. Um, I can't do one on the crossbills for anyone who was wondering about that because uh, the pairs are now fully in the malt and uh, haven't bred it for the past three months. Um, so yeah, so this will t today be the final breeding guide uh, this year for the chaffinches, which I will show you now. Okay, so we begin looking at the front of the Avery from the front. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of fake and real plants in here. Um, we have a mix of fake ivy, uh, which I bought from eBay, 82 feet worth of fake ivy, and it was something like 10 pounds. So I um, wrapped the whole inside pretty much in that to give it a good, a really good sort of uh, cover and base for the chaffinches, uh, as they are quite uh, secretive and timid birds. So I do feel that it's necessary to have uh, so much cover. Uh, then I've taken fate, um, real Christmas tree uh, branches and put that around the sides as well to add the real bulk to it um, to make it more realistic for the birds and natural so it would support nests if they were to build a nest freely rather than in a nest pan. Um, so yeah, they, they are, you see that. There's a couple of options for purchase, both... Um, down the side of the Avery, so as you can see the one up here from uh, the almost left cor top corner um, going towards the back and as you can see perhaps the cockbird sat on there right now if we get some focus anyway um, and then yeah so this is just basically the Avery This is the only viewing panel, so that keeps the birds calm, uh, away from predators and away from disturbance of people. And I have put some Christmas tree on there just to make it a little bit more secure for them. So then I take you to the nest site, which is on the left side, um, next to the branch that is uh, from the top corner and across. And there the hen is on four eggs I believe and um, I haven't checked them in a few days I last saw two and I believe they usually lay a clutch of about four so she's there she, and she's made uh, a nest in a nest pan and I put a nest liner in she's built that over the course of about three days um, this is a 2018 chaffinch hen the cockbird is 2019 um, I did try a pair with the 2019 cockbird with a 2015 hen. Well, sadly, the hen was far too old to be uh, reproducing and hadn't laid any eggs and had built three nests completely. Just was unable to produce the egg. Um, so yeah, we ended up swapping the uh, the hen out for this young rubber hen uh, who has now gone down twice for me. The first round we had all going well until a heat spell sadly managed to cut the eggs, uh, killing the offspring. However, we have now got what I believe to be full chaffinch eggs under this hen. So fingers crossed that these will be full. Within two weeks, we will welcome some young chaffinches. So then we come to the feeding of the birds. Um, so I just have this little door here. This is my entrance door for them. Um, as you can see, I only topped all this up yesterday. So they do tend to take quite a bit of water at the least. Um, so I have some uh, medicated water here just with vitamins in and a little bit of uh, dewormer. I give them the option of seed. Obviously they've eaten quite a few of that, um, even though they are pretty much uh, completely insectivores during the breeding season. We then go here, so I just give them a bulk of dry mealworms. Um, I find this works best because it's far cheaper to be feeding them uh, dry mealworms, which you can buy um, probably a kilo of, which will last a while for one pair for about five pounds. Whereas if you're looking at a kilo of live mealworms, 
Um, one, you know, you're looking at 20 quid for that. It's quite expensive, to be fair. And then also you've got to keep them alive and stop them from then uh, growing into the beetles. So I find this is the best way um, to just give them the bulk of that. And then once they're rearing, I'll supply them with pinky maggots, um, which can usually be taken, like, bought from any um, angling store. Um, and if not, obviously there'll be live mealworms. I then give them this supplement. Um, this is a universal food for um, insectivorous softbills. So um, that is a mix of pretty much loads of different grubs, um, caterpillars, um, cockroaches, mealworms, maggots, all sorts of things like that. Um, and then mixed in with a basically an egg food base um, and that cost me about 10 pounds for a kilo and I supply that and it tends to do them really good um, and hopefully we'll be rearing on that um, I do give them a water dish to bath in but they've already had a bath today so that's why that's empty um, and we'll need a clean down so yeah there you are that's that's the main diet really um, I do give them crushed egg shells in with their seed uh, just for the calcium uh, to help their chicks grow strong bones as well as producing the eggs. Okay, so now I've shown you through um, the diet of the chaffinches and actually the birds themselves and the aviary. Um, so I'll just run you through a through few little uh, facts and things you'll need to know when you're breeding them. Um, so this is my first year with breeding chaffinches. Um, so I'm going to tell you through how I've had success um, and then obviously if you talk to more experienced breeders who breed a lot of chaffinches and have done for a while, you'll probably find out other things. Um, but as a baseline, this is what I've learned uh, and had this success with. So that aviary they are in is a five foot by two foot aviary. That is not big by any means really. Um, I had actually tried the pair in a eight by three aviary pretty much. And uh, I think for the captive chaffinches as well, um, without it being heavily planted, it doesn't suit them. It's far too open, these quite uh, timid birds and um, do like to keep hidden, which is why it works best in that aviary. Um, obviously, the only viewing point you can really see them from is that front uh, like, like panel, which is about 18 inches by 12 inches. So um, not, not a large viewing point, but uh, that gives the birds the privacy they need for breeding. Um, and to, to keep happy, really, obviously, the, the birds um, being happy is obviously what makes them breed. If the birds were unhappy and weren't settled, then they wouldn't breed, so uh, that, that's worked for me. Um, we'll take you on to nest material. So I did find this tricky at first because after researching just what chaffinches use in the wild, it wasn't... Um, some things aren't that easy to come by, so moss for example, um, I managed to actually find some moss on a walk out um, on the moorland, uh, just growing on rocks and stuff, um, and that was just there, so I managed to take a little a little bit of it, just to supply them with, and they've used barely any of it to be honest, so I'm glad I didn't go taking larger quantities. Um, then we look at things like jute, um, so like a like almost a string or a fibrous string and um, you're seeing now and um, that's just a really good sort of uh, base for them to be building with um, and then give them like cotton fibre uh, and that's worked quite well and then you can also buy uh, mixes uh, of the sort of um, fibres where you've got maybe a little bit of cotton in there a little bit of coconut fibre You've got jute and you've got cecil and you've got the, the like cotton fibers as they're called i believe um, and i found that's worked best and they've enjoyed being uh, building with those and they've worked quite nicely as you've seen the nest um i try to give them a soft sort of lining as well so any natural fibers uh, that aren't sort of um processed work quite nicely so um I found one just online, I'll, I'll put a photo of it on the screen now for you, um, and that is um, basically the 
fibres off, off a plant. Um, I, I don't know really what plant it's from and um, why the plant produces it, but either way, it's worked quite nicely for my chaffinches, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, then we look at ring sizes and ringing your chicks. Um, so that's their first clutch. I haven't bred any this year, um, but obviously it's now, what, well, when I'm filming this, it's the 23rd of July. Um, so it will be bringing the season to a close soon, um, within the next month, really. I don't want anything reeling, really, by the end of August. Um, so the plan is that will be their, uh, their only clutch of this year, and final clutch of this year. Um, hopefully we'll get some from them next year if I do decide to keep them on. I'm not sure if I will be yet. Um, and if not, I've obviously got a mate in mind for a uh, buyer. You know who you are. Um, so yeah, that's, that's my experiences with breeding chaffinches and my guide to breeding chaffinches. Um, I don't really give them many supplements to be fair usually just fresh water does it for them fresh rainwater i found um tends to do well with them uh, oh yeah so ringing your chicks as i was saying um size c rings you want um these can be taken and bought from the ioa international and Ornithological association or the bbc which is the british bird council um so yeah size c is what you want uh, those fit chaffinches the best um, and yeah so there you have it that's that's really my full guide to breeding chaffinches obviously I only have one pair and haven't bred any young this year so there isn't a, a, a great load to show you but I have got the pair on eggs and have had twice now um, so obviously um, that, that's all you really need you've got the eggs there the hens sitting on them it's just sadly the, uh, the first round um were cooked by the sun um hey i've got a perspex roof on there to be fair uh which obviously isn't a good idea i will be changing that for next year um perhaps having still leaving the perspex as the waterproof layer but um i'm putting to maybe some uh some board like this for example just over an area where the nest sites will be uh, just to make sure that the head isn't in direct sunlight and that the uh, the eggs aren't going to cook from that and obviously ventilation is key so i do have vents um at the below of the aviary and at the roof there's a gap about this uh, with mesh and then perspex so all the air flows up and out uh, and vice versa so it usually keeps it fairly cool um, and enough to keep them happy and um, actually get them breeding um i have found them they have Take, they have with chaffinches I've had them nest in pretty much every sort of nest you can give them so um, there are ones which are almost like a willow fibre nest um, and those uh, have worked quite nicely I've had a hen build in three of those um, you know three times three clutches in those then I had uh, the hen now she has gone in just a normal canary nest pan with um, sort of just a fibrous nest liner and she's built on top of that and then the other hen previously um, went with a cocoa fiber nest liner um, so i've had them go in the basic three options for what what you have as a nest liner uh, whether that be um, the wicker the felt or the cocoa fiber obviously i haven't tried uh, no nest liner um but i find that having a nest liner in just makes it far easier for the birds to start building obviously if you have wire nest pans that lose the material through those and if you have plastic ones they tend to slip a lot so always um i always try to put a nest liner in there and it usually does work quite nicely um so yeah i think we're going to wrap that video up there for today um, so thank you all for watching if you're new here please subscribe for more content on the British bird um, obviously the, the more recent the videos coming very soon will be uh, probably a lot more interesting to be fair with seeing all the young I've bred this year uh, the new developments then we start looking at the show team uh, and who will be keeping for the shows and who will be going and uh, not continuing here for breeding purposes um,
so yeah please subscribe if you're new uh, like this video and share it please and i'll see you in the next one